well let's uh, go ahead and uh, talk about time bearing signals for example how to represent a sine wave or a pulse in, in, in this device and uh, we, how to perform analysis of circuit containing time bearing sources so first it's for for example let's concentrate on a sine wave source so a sine wave is defined by this sine uh, parenthesis zero amplitude and the frequency uh, it is very i mean it is very simple form of sinusoid many i mean even exponentially decaying sinusoidal source exists in this space but i'm i'm starting from very simple source so this is how i can uh, uh, explain sine in the space and uh, let us see what is meant by this why i'm writing this zero here so if you see this is the sine wave that is sine 0 amplitude is 5 and the frequency is uh, 1 kilohertz okay so it is 1 millisecond so frequency is 1 1 k 1 kilohertz so v1 between node 1 and 0 because there is a voltage source v1 between node 1 and 0 and it is of sine type it doesn't have a dc value it is time bearing signal sine 0 5 and 1k this means that it is a sinusoidal having amplitude of 5 volt and frequency 1 kilohertz by default the unit is hertz and uh, the meaning of this zero will become clear if i plot sine 0 0.5 1 1k so it will be a sinusoid of amplitude 1 volt frequency 1k and it will be shifted by 0 0.5 so when you write zero here, the first thing is zero. This means that it is it is along this x-axis, zero axis. Okay, there is no basically DC values. So this the, the first component in the sinusoidal representation is basically DC offset or the average value of this sign. Okay, so here the DC value is zero, and here the DC value or DC offset is 0.5. So, if I want to explain, I can explain it as follows. So, this sine 0.511k means it is a sinusoidal of amplitude 1 volt, frequency 1 kilohertz, and it has a DC offset of 0.5 volt. And this is equivalent to saying that you have added to your sinusoid of amplitude 1 volt and 1 kilohertz frequency about 0 axis, a 0 having having zero dc value with we have added it to uh you added to it a 0.5 volt dc source so that is it and now whenever this horizontal axis the waveform involved in your circuit has horizontal axis as time for example in this case it is 0 0.1 millisecond and all those things so whenever this axis is time the type of analysis you perform is transient dot run this is the most important thing you have to remember because I have seen people, they often confuse what kind of analysis they have to perform in a particular circuit. So whenever you want to see the, I mean, whenever you have circuit that involves waveform, which has horizontal axis as time, for example, having sinusoidal voltage, having, say, square voltage, having a pulse, and all those, those waveforms have time as horizontal axis. Hence, the type of analysis I will perform is dot run. Now, let's come back. To this voltage divider circuit or let's uh, apply um, a sinusoidal source to our half wave file. let us see what happens so file save as half wave underscore i'm going to perform transient analysis save so this is the circuit file here now there is a voltage source between b in and in zero and it is of sign type and its value is about zero average value is zero and amplitude is say five volt and frequency is one kilohertz and rest of the thing rest of the things uh, will remain same the only thing is here i will be using dot run analysis dot run command for transient is dot run and the time up to which you want to perform this analysis so for example if the frequency involved is one kilohertz the time period becomes one millisecond so if you want to perform analysis up to one millisecond, you will be able to see uh, a sinusoidal waveform having 
I mean of one period. Okay, so let's run this simulation and see what happens. Control A and B out. So you can see the half is rectified zero. Okay, and let me also plot input waves. So Control A and B in. So this is my V. Press Control G for grid. So this is my V. The blue curve is V. And you can see the half of the five sensor as output. And if you want to plot these two in two windows, all, all the thing that you have to do is to go to plot setting, add plot thing. And you can just drag it in here or activate this window by clicking here and then press Ctrl A and press B. And you can delete the from here. Press escape. So you can even you can drag and drop it here. So it will come here, then drag and drop it here, in this window, and so on and so forth. Okay? If you want to delete this pen, for example, so you just click here so that it becomes active and go to simulation, sorry, plot setting and delete active pen. So it will, that, that pen will be gone. So this is how you can perform transient analysis. So the command, the very simple command for transient is dot run and the time up to which you want to perform the Analysis. For example, if time period is one one millisecond, time period of this sinusoid is one millisecond. I want to see the two time period of the sinusoid, so I can do simulation up to two milliseconds. See what happens. Just run this simulation, and you can see the change. Press Control A, B out. Okay, and so on, so forth. So this is how I can perform transient analysis, and there will be some more examples coming very soon. Thank you.